excuse me, a third of a cup of milk. We have our puree, and I'll give you half of this beautiful puree. You're going to have half of this mm -hmm. into your mixture. This is going to be a very tasty addition to the cake batter. And if you want to stop that and just um, stop it and just scrape it down, that would help. You don't even have to lift it up. Oh, you, you can, but you don't have to. Just scrape it down in the bowl. I promise you this is a delicious pudding. <laughs> Complicated though it might be. Now, what Don't else are you working? What else are you working on? Um, I'm recording a new album at the moment. I'm having great fun with it because it's it's got a sort of a slightly gothic feel to it. Slightly what? Gothic. Oh. Gothic metal feel. Oh really? My record company will kill me. <laughs> Who do you record with? Um, lots of people, different musicians. I work with my producer in Germany, and uh, it's fun. I mean, we get lots of ideas there. Do you speak German? My Deutsch is nicht good. Ah. <laughs> I speak German. I don't very speak well. German very well. I yes. just speak a little. <laughs> I think it sounds pretty good. Okay, so okay. now, put that down. Yeah. Right. And um, uh, turn it on low, and then add your flour alter alternately with your third of a cup of milk. Okay. Yeah, just like that. All of that. It's actually quite hard to get the mix cream on the side neatly there. And that's all of the flour. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you have such an exciting career because it's, uh, and you can sing anything and you can uh, look like, you know, anything. It's just amazing. Oh, you really you're are. really kind. You should you see are. me sometimes. I look absolutely dreadful. Oh, no, I no, no. You look wonderful. <laughs> No, I have to admit, I, I, have, I do enjoy my career. It's great because you get to go all over the world and you, you give a lot of energy and it's, it's fun. It's quite tiring sometimes, but then working is. So. Working is, but... There was something I missed here. Oh, it's the flour. The milk. Yes. Okay. Just add the milk. You're paying close attention. You're wonderful. Okay. Okay. I'm loving it. And we're going to continue all of this when we come back and get it into a steam bath. So don't go away. Later, a chef's secret from Shannon Bennett. And then, the beautiful Sarah Brightman performs a song from her latest CD. Stay with us. Well, we're done with our batter, Sarah Brightman and I, and we're just going to pour the batter, and yours okay. is all scraped down too, into this pudding bowl. Good. You're pretty adept in the kitchen, Sarah. Oh, I love it. Yes. How far are the two so, this I just want you to see the apricots are in the bottom. Those are the, the chunky apricots. And now just get the batter in right on top of those apricots. So when you reverse this, turn it out, you're going to have the apricots on the top. Okay. See, that's really what it is. It's a steamed pudding that is sort of a steamed pudding cake. So are you going to go back to Broadway? Do you know... theater? I think I will one day. Um, I'd like to do something really interesting. Everybody wants you to. <laughs> well, I have to say, when I was on Broadway, I had a wonderful, amazing time and met lots of great people, and it was just fun. The audiences are great here. They're very receptive, and so it was a good experience. It was, yeah, yeah. and we loved you. Thank you. And we did. <laughs> and I like we being do. in your kitchen <laughs> cooking. <laughs> right, okay. Okay, so then... You can use your finger if you want to clean that off. Mm. And then this, go, bring that over here. And if you have, uh-oh, greasy paws, buttery paws, Thank you can you. wipe them off. You shouldn't be eating the mixture, really, but I couldn't resist oh, it. Oh, no, it tastes, it's tasty, yeah. isn't it? The lime Oh, it's just great. Something it's great, very yeah. zingy. So now, uh, we have a round of parchment, which has a little fold in it. This is a little good thing tip, because you put that over the bowl, that little fold, because the pudding might puff up, will give you extra room so that if it's tight over it, it doesn't have room to expand. Okay. Because it does have baking uh, powder in it. Then your foil. 
which goes over the parchment. I don't like to cook with foil on my food. Right. So I always line it Why with parchment. Why is part that? Well, just the reaction of food with foil. Yeah, I've never yeah. thought of that. You're right. You know, so uh, now take the rubber band. And this, the rubber band will pop off during cooking generally. It'll just break. But this makes it easier to tie the string around. Oh. Well, here, I'll help you. you I'll help you if you help me here. Okay. <laughs> the forehands are better. Right. Yeah, just now you can just put the rubber that band. Way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Right. Yeah. So that just it, it just holds it on while while we then tie on. You have to help. You have to help me. Okay. With my rubber band. So. Now help me with my rubber band. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm not doing my own thing. There we are. Just hold that down there. And the rubber band. It, what it does is uh, does it just helps you uh, with the tying. You'll right. see. You'll see. Oh, so now. Go down a bit more. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where okay. it is. Yeah. And then tie your string. So we go around once mm -hmm. and go around a second time. And this should be under the little lip of the bowl. Right. So it's, it's nice and tight. Okay. Okay, and go around again. And you can tie it, uh, tie it once. And then put the knot there. Yeah, okay. make it nice and tight. And then we're going to make a little handle so we can pick it out of the hot steamer. And you can just do this and go under your string with one of them. Mm-hmm. And just tie it. And all we want is a little knot here. Right. So. And does this one go over? Like that. Over yes. that way. Yeah. Right. And then you can go under the under that string and just tie it. Mm -hmm. Just so you have a little yes, handle. Yes, it shouldn't be too tight though when you are tying yeah. it. Yeah. Just give yourself right. a handle. Now we have our... You got it done? Yeah, mm -hmm. you're, you're almost done. There. Right. Perfect. That's yep. it. Look, perfect. Great. You know what? She's an English woman and she knows how to make pudding. <laughs> And so now you get, there's a rack in the bottom of the steamer pan. Make sure that the water is high so it won't drown the pudding. You don't want the pudding. You want it to come up about halfway or two-thirds. And that's perfect. Mm -hmm. And now just steam uh, until the pudding reaches about 180 degrees on an instant read thermometer. And that takes about an hour and a half simmering, not rapid boiling. And then let it cool for about 10 minutes. And look what we have over here. We have, I just got a little moisture. We have the pudding that's already been cooked. We'll take off the the string. Yeah, it's cool. Um, like ten minutes. <gasps> See how nice and puffy it is. Beautiful. Smells really good too. And we can turn this out onto a serving plate. And let's hope that it comes down exactly the way we want it to. To we tap might, it on the top. We might have to tap it, or we might have to just let a little air on the side. There. there. Oh, I felt it loosen. <gasps> and let's see. Oh, Thank perfect. You. <laughs> <It's great. laughs> now, Wes in, Wes in the kitchen just let out a sigh of relief. I saw your sigh. I have Wes. another one just to I was watching you, not even the pudding. Because Wes is responsible for the preparation of the swap outs. So look how pretty. Isn't that nice? It is gorgeous. Yeah. It's so would you like a little taste? I would love a taste. Okay. Yes. Even though she's not allowed, I'm going to give you a little taste. Oh, I am allowed. I love you too. Oh, cake. good. So here is our little steamed pudding cake. Look at the beautiful texture. And little dots of apricots throughout. You can see in the, in the pudding itself. And... Always a little vanilla creme anglaise mm. in honor of our English guest. Are you English? I hope. I'm very English. Should oh, we good. call that custard? <laughs> <laughs> now, we have a wonderful, wonderful performance by Sarah later on in the show, so stay tuned.